Hey guys, uh, it's Matt. So I, it's like the middle of the night. Oh, what time is it? It's oh, it's twelve oh three. It's midnight. So that makes it Tuesday. Oh, I knew what day it was. I'm getting better at that. Um, I have a problem, but not as big a problem as it could be. Uh, but I was, anyways, I was cleaning the house because I thought that, well, whatever, whatever. My medicine makes me go to sleep too early and then I woke up, like, and then whatever. So I was like, oh, the house was a huge mess. And I know Christy had fallen asleep putting the kids to sleep. So I was like, oh, I'll do a bunch of stuff. So I was doing laundry and I was cleaning the kitchen and doing all these things and uh, getting ready to sweep and stuff. And then I was doing, getting the counter ready and I had run the dishwasher and smoke and fire started. Well, fire came out of here and smoke was coming out of here and here. And, oh, cut to discovery video. And so our dishwasher just caught on fire. I saw flames shooting out like right here. You know, I'm gonna cut the power. That's not good. Yeah, it smells like electrical fire. That's really not good. Last thing we need in our life, okay. Yeah, uh, so that's not good. I was able to cut the power, so I know there's no electrical danger here. And praise God, uh, seriously, thank you, Jesus, that uh, the smoke didn't set off the smoke detectors. You know, that I got to, I just happened to be here, like, geez, the whole house could have burned down. Um, anyway, we don't have six screaming kids to deal with, um, and, and Christy doesn't even know, which is nice. Here's the deal. Oh. Yeah, okay, it's Tuesday, so today's the day I'm taking Liam to the doctor, and it's gonna be a big, crazy adventure. I have an adult helper to make sure, you know, like a grown up to keep both of us on track. Anyway, um, and it's a really complicated day because the kids have Enrichment Academy and they're gonna be gone, and Christy's gonna be managing a lot of things. This is the last thing we need to be broken in our life. Like, okay, you can see it's stuffed to the brim and then I still was going to have to do this kind of stuff because there's eight people in our family and appliances are the worst thing to go down because like it just makes our life really hard and complicated really really fast so please be praying for a solution um, if you want to help be a part of the solution remember we have the you caring page where you can always donate to help cover the needs of our family which really goes exactly to stuff like this um, so anyways I love you guys uh, but please be praying for us um, just that, speci especially specifically, that this doesn't add a ton of stress to Christy's life tomorrow, and just that we can get it resolved quickly and easily. Um, and yeah, and you know what? Let's all be super grateful that our house didn't burn down. <laughs> like, I was all, that's the last thing we need when this caught on fire, but it's like, actually, the last thing we need is for the house to burn down. <laughs> uh, we'd all have to live in the treehouse. Okay, so I'm a little a little stressed out now because of the noise. I, I can't filter out noise and it's loud, but uh, whatever. Um, I, the whole house is smelling really chemically from the electrical fire thing, which is a huge trigger for me because whatever. When I used to have the panic attacks, I would always smell these smells that I couldn't place. And, uh, it turned out that was like, you know, seizures in my brain. Uh, with my sense of smell. We know that now because the brain's in my life and stuff, but um, it's kind of a PTSD trigger for me. So, um, plus, you know, I, that can't be good for the babies and stuff. So, uh, I set up this huge fan, uh, but then it was bringing in like icy cold wind through the chimney, and I was like, well, that's not good because, you know, now it's going to smell like soot. And so I opened a door and anyways I started a fire uh, and this is working really well check it out uh, so now this fire is getting all of it like it, it's making sure that the air is going up because it needs going like flying up there and then that door is just cracked open uh, that's the right amount it's kind of it looks at least to the eyeball as the air going out so I've got like icy cold wind it's funny if like this I had to put a shoe here because it's like well, I don't know if you can this one The wind is, it's an arctic blast wind. Anyways, now it's bringing heat in. And I think the smell is dissipating, so I don't really want to finish. Anyway, now I don't feel as worried about it. Uh, I'm a little worried about the quantity. I definitely can't do that many dishes. So. But we're gonna need them for life tomorrow. I, I don't know, uh, we'll figure that out. 
Okay, it's way later. It's oh, it's like one o'clock, um, and I still have a lot to do. Um, but I did this so that everyone will know not to use it. It's not like it would work because it's unplugged. And I just thought this was kind of a cool story. I got this uh, in an alley not long ago, like in a pile of junk, and uh, it was broken. But I, when I was taking it apart to scrap the metal and stuff, uh, I noticed there was a wire nut in here that was missing, and it liked, like two wires that were loose, so I grabbed a butt connector and I connected it, and it works awesome. This thing moves some serious air, so it totally saved the day today, and I just feel like, ah, oh, what, what providence that it was there for me, so. Anyways, I just thought that was cool too. Thought I'd add it into the video. Um, I don't know why I'm making a video. Well, no, I do, because I, I want your help. So, anyways, uh, um, so yeah, just be praying for us and stuff. So, anyway, uh, everybody, I love you. Bye. Stay stoked, guys.